This just in, Jack Bauer has had a sex change and age reduction and is actually in a movie. Life could be stranger. <laughs> Hannah. All right, now going into Hannah, I was really skeptical. I was expecting a boar fest. I was expecting like the American part two. I don't know why, it just was. Come to find out, Hannah has a nice bit of badassery to it. All right, so the story goes, Hannah has lived in like godforsaken nowhere of Snowville in a log cabin with Eric Bana and he's just been training her to be a badass all of her life. Her entire life, she goes outside in the snow, she hunts, she works out, she spars with Eric Bana, she learns to kill and rinse and repeat. And she's played by the little girl who played Susie Salmon from The Lovely Bones. Yeah, let's watch Stanley Tucci try to do anything with that girl, she will break something off. She is quite a badass. Which makes her pretty much the most productive 16 year old I've ever heard of. Most of them hang out in arcades, I'm just saying. Don't mean to alienate my 16 year old subscribers. You guys are all right. But then she wants to see more of the world, so Eric Banner's like, all right, push this red button, you can see more of the world, but the world's gonna come after you. Namely, the red-headed bitch, played by Kate Blanchett. Yeah, it turns out Eric Banner was like a secret agent back in the day, so yeah, flipping the button. She does, and they come, and well, now we have our spy movie. This girl's doing all the hardcore awesome some spy shit. Like hiding up on the ceiling like River Tam, dropping down, slicing throats. It's like Solid Snake got a sex change and is played by a 16 year old girl in a movie. Now upon all the cool stuff that you see in the first third of the movie, after that the movie kind of slows down for a bit. She starts hanging out with his family, a really weird family too. And I see why the family was really weird and exaggerated because a lot of times in movies like this, when someone's like this, you know, emotionless soldier, when they see normal people, they're like, oh, you're weird, but you don't really see or feel how they think they're weird. But in this movie, by exaggerating the family, you really see you're like, you're odd people. People. And that's exactly how she's, oh, I, I get it, I feel it, awesome. So it really worked. But it kind of slows down at that point, and you're like, come on, kill shit. But it's character building stuff, you know how that stuff works. And at the end of this movie, I felt like the movie just ends. Kind of an anticlimactic kind of way. I like a big climax, I like a big showdown. You don't really get that in this movie, just kind of happens and ends. But the movie is really good. Eric Bana was pretty cool too, but you don't really see much of him. He does some stuff in the movie, but all in all, it's all about the little girl. Eric Bana is a side character. But I will say that when the shit goes down, it goes down well. The director in this movie is just a really good director. So props to that guy. So the girl is a badass, Eric Bana's cool, and Kate Blanchett is a really big bitch. Effective filmmaking if I've ever heard it. So I will say, give me this movie on Blu-ray. Check it out, go see it, it's pretty good. This girl can throw down with the best of them. But if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.